What's the number one problem facing businesses in the UK today? It's how to get more customers online. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to get more customers through the internet plus the solution to all of your marketing problems. Here's a familiar problem. People who start a business are very good at what they do. A vet is an expert at helping sick animals. A printer, an expert at printing beautiful brochures. A consultant is an expert at providing advice and strategy, for example. But when you started your business, I bet no one told you that in order to find new customers, you had to be an expert at online marketing as well. In the old days, marketing was usually an advert in a local newspaper or an advert every year in the yellow pages. You could organize these in five minutes. But in the 21st century, that's nowhere near enough. And a business that depends on an approach like this is most probably a dying business. These days, marketing a business successfully is all about online marketing. Since the start of the internet, savvy business owners realized that by advertising online, they could offer their product or service to people already looking for what they sell. And by using LinkedIn and Facebook, for example, you could target just about any group of people you want by interest or job title. For example, maybe you want to sell a product to horse lovers. Right now, there are 576,211 people on Facebook who have put in their profile that they love horses. Your online advertising can now target those specific people and no one else. Invented the best cure for asthma? Last month, 326,234 people searched on Google for a cure for asthma. Want to sell something to the CEOs of companies with 11 to 50 employees in the UK who work in the manufacturing sector? You'll find 9,562 on LinkedIn alone. Single males living in Birmingham. The employees of a specific company. People looking for a dentist in Guildford. You get the idea. And the best part is that your advert will only appear to those people, the right people, and you only pay when prospects click on the advert. This means that you don't waste money advertising to people outside your target market. What an incredible breakthrough. Your advertising is now precisely targeted and you only pay when someone clicks to see what you've got to offer. Your budget stretches further and you only pay when someone is interested. However, having a traffic strategy, knowing how to place yourself in front of the right people online is not enough by itself. You need a conversion strategy too. Conversion is what happens when someone lands on your web page and does what you want them to do. Maybe it's pick up the phone, request information, or ask for a quote. The amount of people who convert is the conversion percentage. And of course, everyone wants this to be as high as possible. The higher it is, the more new prospects you get, and ultimately, the more new business you get too. The sad fact of the matter is that to get someone to convert on a web page is not as easy as asking your web designer to create an attractive website for you. Web designers know how to make a website look good. However, beautiful design is not as important as ensuring that your anonymous visitor identifies themselves by picking up the phone or emailing you. If that happens, you have a brand new sales lead. And of course, no sale will ever happen until you have a sales lead to contact. What you need is a landing page. This is a single page website that has one specific job, to turn web visitors into inquiries. The average landing page converts only one in 100 visitors into a sales lead. Our digital lighthouse site converts at least 43%. Let's say that we've created a landing page that successfully converts your traffic to inquiries. Even though the top performing Digital Lighthouse page converts at 78%, what happens to all the other people that don't convert? This part is really clever. Using a new technology called remarketing, we can now place a tracking pixel onto the computers of all the people who visited your site, but didn't convert. By using that tracking pixel, Stylish graphical adverts for your company can now be seen on the websites that your visitor subsequently goes to, from national newspaper sites to weather sites to advertising sites. In fact, any of the millions of Google partner sites. It almost seems like your advertising is following them around the internet. It's that effective. Now, just because someone didn't convert the first time they visited your site doesn't mean that they don't want to buy from you.
When your advertising follows that person around the internet, reminding them that you can help them, you'll discover that you will get even more conversions as people click on your ads. And the great thing is that that is very, very cost effective. And with a new development on Facebook, you can have your advert appearing in the visitor's newsfeed as well. Let's say that again as it's so, so clever. Someone who has been to your website but has not told you who they are will now see your advert when they log on to their Facebook page. And recently, Facebook topped 1 billion users a day. So what do we do with all of these conversions, these new sales prospects? Apart from getting very excited, you need to follow them up, of course.